Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a bungee cord voting for your bungee cord network. And I am sick so that is why my voice sounds a little bit weird and the audio is kind of a bit weird but hope you guys can still understand me just fine so let's get right into it. So to start off you will be needing two plugins. Uh, one of them is called New Votifier and the other one is called a Voting Plugin. New Votifier is basically what listens to the Minecraft server list or whatever voting site that you have. Basically it listens to that, makes sure the players vote. And then Voting Plugin is what we're going to be using to give players the rewards. So those are two plugins that you'll need for your Bungie Cord network. Uh, New Votifier does work on Bungie Cord and the specific server so uh, let's go ahead and get all this set up. So once you have downloaded uh, those two plugins, make sure you have your Bungie Cord Network set up. And then now what you're going to do is go ahead and somehow access your FTP uh, file access for whatever your host you're using. I'm using Minecraft Hosting Out Pro for my Bungie Cord Network and then I'm using FileZilla to upload my plugins. So what you want to do is access your Bungie Cord server and you're going to put new modifier in your Bungie Cord server. And then on your other servers, uh, your hub, PvP, factions, whatever server you have, uh, you're going to upload new votifier and that voting plugin on those servers as well. So the Bungie Cord only consists of new votifier, but all your other servers connected with Bungie will need a new votifier plugin as well as the voting plugin. So make sure you go upload those and then restart all your servers. So you have two folders, you have your Votifier and your Voting Plugin folder. We're going to be going into our Votifier uh, folder first. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to mention for Minecraft Hosting.pro, Votifier open ports are between 31,000 and 32,500. So just keep that in mind. You will have to contact your specific hosting company to ask what uh, ports are open for Votifier. So just keep that in mind. And for ease of access, I'm actually going to keep this uh, document open, that way we can copy all of our server IP. So uh, for the hub server, I'm just going to put hub, and then I'm going to copy our IP address that we have over here just like so, and then put it right there. Uh, for the port, we're going to be using a completely different port for a voting Votifier, so I'm just gonna erase that port for now. And then for our bungee, so I'll just type in bungee and then we go to our bungee cord at and then copy our IP for bungee cord, just copy that in there with no port, keep in mind. And then we're gonna go to my PvP server, copy that IP as well, and erase the port. These are all the IPs that we will be using for our new votifier uh, folder. So since we're running on Bungie Cord, you want to go to your Bungie Cord new Votifier plugin. And then now we're going into the config. So by default, it will be 0000. So then you will want to enter your Bungie Cord IP address for this host. And then you're going to select a port. So for Minecraft Hosting.pro, uh, we're going to be using, uh, let's do like, so 31245 is our port that we're going to be using for our Bungie Cord. So that is a random port that I just made up. And then our tokens, that's your default token. You don't really need to worry about that. And then this is the forwarding. So we are using our Bungie Cord proxy. So we're going to go ahead and put proxy in there. And then the prox plugin message channel new votifier that it is the add-on that's going to be listening for. And then these are the different ones. And that's pretty much everything that you need to worry about uh, for up here. So once you enter your proxy and your channel new votifier, go scroll down to the very bottom. And this is what we're going to be worrying about. So we have our proxy and then our hub server. So uh, my server is actually named hub. So we're going to go to our hub IP. Make sure you copy that hub IP. Paste it in there just like so and then now we need to make a new port for our hub so we'll do port uh, we'll make another random one so we'll do like 31 2 5 6 that will that should work but you go ahead and copy that and paste it into our port now we're going to go to our pvp server that we made and uh, we also need a port for this as well we want to 79 go ahead and copy that just like so and we also need the IP address as well, so go ahead and put that in there as well. You, We will need a token, but we haven't have access to that yet. We'll be getting that in a little bit later. So make sure you go ahead and save that, and then go ahead and restart your Bungie Cord. Once you restart your Bungie Cord, go into your hub and into whatever other servers that you have. Go into your plugins folder, and then go into your Votifier plugin, and then this will be in the config. So usually by default, uh, when you load the new Votifier plugin, it will automatically put the IP IP address in for you which is very helpful but we need to change the port so our port for our hub 
is 31256 so make sure go ahead and put that in just like so and then now uh, we need to copy this token right over here so this is token that we're actually going to be using for to put in our bungee cord config so go ahead and click save now go to your other servers and do exactly the same thing <laughs> Now we're going to go back into our bungee cord config and then now we're going to go ahead scroll all the way down to the bottom and enter our tokens that we got. So our token for our PVP server is this right here and then go ahead and enter that token and then as well for our hub server as well. So go ahead and enter that token just like so I need to space it out. Go ahead and save that and then restart your bungee cord. The very last step we can go ahead and test out our Votifier and make sure it runs properly. So uh, this link will be down in the description and basically just test your vote. So we're going to go ahead and enter our username. So then the IP address. So this will be our bungee cord IP address. So go ahead and enter the IP address. And then now we need our port for bungee cord for our Votifier. Go ahead and enter that. Last thing we need is our public key. And to access that, go into your new Votifier uh, folder. And then it will be RSA. And then go ahead and it will say public key. Go ahead and open that. And your public key should have a whole bunch of random numbers, letters, or whatever. So make sure to go ahead and copy that. And uh, paste it in there. And then now we can go onto our server and test out our vote. So double check to make sure uh, your IP is right, your port is right, and your public key is correct. And if it is, go ahead and send a test vote. Now if we go over to our MC, yes, as you see, boom, we got our message. Thanks for voting on MC Tools. And if we go to our uh, other server, so we go to our server PVP, we should get the same message. And as you see, yes, right there, thanks for voting on mctools.org. And just like that, it's that easy to set up voting for your Bungie Cord network. And the other plugin, voting plugin, and that is for giving items to your players. Sort of like GA listener, uh, give anything listener, sort of like that plugin, but I like the voting plugin a lot better uh, it's a lot more customizable so hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you have any questions down below i will see you guys next time <music>